What's going on YouTube? Colson Grass 37 here with a contest response video. Uh, sorry for the fan in the background. I just wanted to ensure that there was no, you couldn't hear like anything going on in the background. But um, yeah. So today I'm gonna be responding to Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards uh, contest video. Uh, sorry for my camera angle. I have you sitting on a couple boxes, and I had this new background. For now, yeah. Um. Oh, and I have Cube Man stuck on the wall. Um. Yeah, and I'm sorry I can't have it like that, which I wish I could, but I need to get like a tripod or something. But yeah. So um, the question is, uh, how did I get into collecting, and why I still collect today? So um, I started collecting when I was five. Um, in 2006. Um when I was at the mall with my dad and um <clears throat> we were we uh we walked into a couple stores and we walked into a toy store and they had the two thousand and six Yankees uh little team set from Tops and I remember getting it and then us getting pizza and um opening the cars and he was like showing me everyone. Like Randy Johnson was in that set, you know, Derek Jeter, A Rod, Cano Hideki Matsui, Bobby Abreu, all those guys that I grew up um, adoring um, and admiring. Um, so, um, yeah, and then I didn't really collect too much in 2007. Because um, that wasn't the time that my collecting really like started, like boxes and cards and all that. But um, in 2008, I bought the most cards that I've ever seen in my life. I have more 2008 tops in uh, Upper Deck than... Uh, probably almost anything else, um, but yeah, and then I didn't really start getting into high-end autographs and hobby boxes until, uh, about 2012, that was when I started trading and all that on Facebook, um, but I, when I was a little kid, I didn't really have a particular player or team, um, I just really liked everyone and wanted to get everyone's card and research them and you know, figure out how much, how well they hit in 2008 or whatever, so, um, not up until, like, two years ago or this year, I really hadn't been high-end hobby box coming out, you know, just, um, always looking for the next Mike Trout, um, because I'm a pros prospector, I'd rather bust Bowman than Tops, but obviously I have a little bit of guilt and I pull out a $20 bill every time I'm at Target, but, um, or I should say my mom does, but, um, yeah, so, um, that's basically how I started collecting, and I still collect today because there's always one more card that I need, just one more, one more I need for the rainbow, one more I need for the set, one more I need to get signed at a game, or one more I need, there's, there's always just one more, or more, obviously, but, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna showcase a couple of my favorite cards and tell you how I, uh, got them, um, start out with uh, this one this this is one of the best cards in my um best card in my uh pc team pc player pc and uh collection so my friend actually gave this to me for my birthday um i'm happy he didn't overpay for it he paid really cheap for it around 50 dollars it's a uh mason williams sorry for the glare uh let me Canary Gold Diamond Refractor graded a BGS 9.5 and that card is number 3 out of 3 so that's one of the sickest cards I've ever touched or held uh, next I got this with uh, in a trade with a guy on Facebook I got this Avon Nova one of his only autos it's numbered 45 of 99 from Immaculate Collection on card auto corner sort of thing but this is a sick card. Um, then I just have a couple of the cards that I got from busting boxes. Not all PC, but Hunter Dozier. Blue Wave Auto came out of that box. Number 15 of 50. That was the first full hobby box I'd ever busted in my life. I busted one uh, single box of 2009 Tops Finest, but that was basically Corey Seager Relic. Uh, I got that from a hobby box. Uh, Abidal Avellino, Yankee shortstop prospect. I got it in a trade 
Silver Dice 75. I bought this uh, Mark Montgomery draft ticket auto at a uh, Braden or a Pittsburgh Pirates game. They have like a little card thing there. Kosuke Kato got this in a trade. Mark Montgomery got that in a trade. Ian Clark and I got that at Race Fan Fest. Ian Clark and I got it in a trade. Fred Lewis I acquired in a trade. Nathan Nicholas I got that in a trade and this one from a trade. Mason Williams Jersey Auto numbered out of. 199 got that in a trade. Uh, J.R. Murphy got this from Matthew Howell off of YouTube and Facebook. Uh, numbered out of 499 Refractor. Traded. Bought this in my LCS. Dylan Batanz, this rookie auto. Um, Jorge Posada, New Jersey. I also got the uh, Gardner one. Um, this uh, I got this at Race Fan Fest. Carlos Correa. Got this out of a couple of hobby packs. And got this out of a hobby box of draft. Tequan Forbes Black Refractor Last Pack Mojo number 35. And I also got this that um, I'm going to be giving away in a contest that I'm going to do here in a couple in the incoming weeks. I have it in this case at the moment because it's the only thing that it fits in. But it's this Tony Glenn Dat Chip number out of 50. Um, and here there, there's one more. Uh, Really sick card that I have have to show. Um, so, oh, here, hold on. I know where it is. Just wait, real quick. I found a, a couple other cards I want to show on camera. These two uh, Kershaw autos that I got via TTM. These are absolutely sick. Um, I bought. I got this out of this this box right here. I got it for twelve dollars at Target. Elite hanger box. Boom. Jeremy Rathjen, 4 of 25, Red Ink Auto. And then I got this Florida State PC Mojo, Go Knowles. Bobby Bowden for five or $12 um, relic from Allen and Gunter. I talked him down on that. Um, but yeah, so those are some of my uh, favorite cards um, ever. Um, and I have a lot, a lot more, um, a lot of, like, in-person autographs, and, uh, obviously this, I'm ordering the final three cards off of, check out my cards, the Eric Chigailo Rainbow, the Super Fractor's out, but it's $300, so I'm just not gonna do any of those, but, um, I am getting three other cards for that set, and then obviously my Yankees po Prospect, not Prospect, Prospect PC, um, these are all for, uh, Yankees Mino each spring training. These are all the chromes that I have to prep. These are all the papers. Or cards that I've already prepped. So there's a lot there. Um, so obviously I PC all Yankees prospects. Then I have, um... Luis Torrens, who's not going because, uh, he got hurt. So, uh, that's, that looks weird. Um, then obviously all of my Eric Chigailo in-person autographs. He's my number one PC at the moment. Then the, his first 2014 Bowman card ever signed. Um, because I remember it was the day after it was released. And then two duels, I have my... Eric Chigailo ball right there, my Mason Williams ball, my Mo ball, and my Michael O'Neill home run ball. That Mo was actually a foul ball, or that Mason Williams, and then Aaron Judge, the inscription, and the card. Actually going to get a couple more of those for Chigailo. Um I wish there was one where it was sideways, and then it had two balls, you know, so I could have a uh, Judge signed ball, and I need the Chigailo on a Rawlings official with the first round draft pick inscription. Just like Judge did it, because that would be absolutely sick if I had both. Um, then here, here are some more of the Yankee prospects I have for spring training. So, a lot of Jagailos, Michael O'Neill, Nicholas, more Jagailo, Tyler Wade, Taylor Dugas, Dante, Fred Lewis, Jagailo, Dante, Dugas, and Tyler Wade. And then these are all the ones I can't get signed at spring training or I'm not bringing with me. All sleeved. Oh, I need to figure out where these two guys are. 
Uh, and then these are all the ones I've uploaded, like inserts and stuff. None of these are for trade for sale, but if you have any, please let me know. Um, I will trade almost anything for just base cards, to be honest. Then these are some more Yankee prospects. I had gotten a trade of gotten a trade yesterday. Um then let me take the camera out. Just put my finger over it. Uh that's all Yankees veterans that were in my binder that I took out. Uh Yankee IP autos are all in there. There's like a couple I think there's like 30 pages of them. Then I have a bunch of signed pictures in there. IP minor league autos in there. Here's my FSU shelf. 101 custom hat. Can't say where I got it for the protection of the artist. Jameis Winston got it to sign it to Colson Jameis Winston. Uh, got this helmet. All that back there. My Yankee shelf. That baby right there. Um, that's one of the nicer pieces. Um, all my TTM envelopes. I can't believe I put three on that. Will Clark. Or, no, there's only two. Um, uh, my happy birthday Dante Bichette photo, which will actually be behind my thing. And then once I get a case for these, these Dante gloves. Those are sick. Um, but yeah, here's just the uh, uh, Chick Fil A cup for the win. Um, here's just my most of my collection here. That box is filled. Those are uh, that box is filled. Those are cards. Sorry for that Coke bear. Um, those are all filled. I got it a long time ago, and I just used it as a, like, bookend. Um, yeah, I took a bunch of, yeah, I need the, I need the dust up here. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's not good. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope I win. Uh, so thanks, Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards, for doing this, and, uh, see you.